God bless you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Prophet Michael and I want to come to you today. I want to talk to you about the forensic seer. Listen, I'm coming to you as an American prophet. I believe one of the first American prophets to come out and actually teach on forensic prophecy. I've looked online, even in the season where I was beginning to walk in new places in the prophetic, I was looking for help. I was looking for someone to assist me, look, looking for some teaching, for someone to assist me in forensic prophecy. Amen. I felt called to forensic prophecy. And listen, all I could find was African prophets, which was blessed because many of them helped me as watching their videos, helped me to learn some things and begin to walk in the prophetic dimension, the forensic prophetic dimension. Amen. Now, I could not find an American prophet that was teaching on forensic prophecy. Let me be the first American prophecy on a uh, prophet on YouTube to actually begin to teach on forensic prophecy. If there's another one out there, I haven't seen them. If they if they are, God bless them. If you're watching, po uh, tag, post them in my uh, post them in the comments there below. The first thing I want you to do before you listen to the rest of this video is I want you to like. I want you to subscribe. Also, I want you to go on my playlist. Uh, at pro um, prophetic accuracy and uh, my play my other playlist fulfilled prophecies I want you to see that God has caused us to walk in successful prophetic places successful forensic prophetic frequencies as you can see that the Lord has blessed us to prophesy accurately, to actually hear his voice, to know his spirit and to walk in these levels of prophecy. One of the first steps into walking in the forensic dimension as a forensic seer is hearing the forensic word listening to a forensic teacher and to beginning to adopt the lessons of a forensic mentor. So listen, I want to help you prophesy. I want to talk to the prophets and the seers that are believing God for another level. Somebody's frustrated with where they are. Somebody's frustrated with, with, uh, with where they're going because they are having a hard time capturing vision and capturing the revelation into the next levels. That's simply because you need to hear someone that has the vision and the revelation. So you need to listen to the forensic word. That's the first step. The second step <coughs> is adopting the mindset that God is in fact greater than Google. God is greater than Google. The more that you begin to adopt the faith and the expectation to see and hear details in the spirit of the Lord, to know the voice of the Lord on another level, to know that he can speak to you. And if you're one that prophesies, to know that you can prophesy names, numbers, addresses, uh, details of people's lives, entering into the forensic depths of the spirit, then you'll begin to draw, that expectation will begin to draw the forensic prophetic dimension into your atmosphere. Amen. We're living in a uh, prophetic generation. God is raising up the prophets and there's a company of prophets that is coming. Even prophets that are sitting on pews will prophesy one day. Most of the uh, saints in the church one day will prophesy even the level, just, just on average, the level that we see the Hubert Angels, the prophet Lovies. We will function on this level. So God is raising up the prophets and he's training up seers. The Lord has touched me to minister to those prophets and those seers as he's lifting up this voice today. Amen. Listen, uh, 
Uh, the Bible says freely you've been given, freely give. I would not be able to function in some of what we operate in if it wasn't for the mentors that have been on YouTube and have been online that have also freely shared the revelation information that I'm about to share with you and some of it even on another level. God has given us a very unique and creative language specifically for American prophets and some of you may be watching me overseas also. Make sure you subscribe. Specifically American prophets who fail to function in forensic prophecy because you don't you haven't adopted the faith or the expectation to do that and many american prophets right now there's a lot of scrutiny around the prophetic ministry so many uh, of the western culture christian prophets are stuck in yesterday's prophetic move of god because of fear of the deeper waters we have a lot of this dimension being uh, coined as uh, witchcraft or sorcery because uh, people are understanding the depths of seeing into the different realms of the spirit. People don't understand the functioning and the operation of the different eyes of the spirit from the first eye to the second eye to the third eye. <laughs> People aren't understanding some of these things. And I want to help somebody understand these things. And I want to help teach someone to walk in a deeper dimension in the spirit of the Lord. Again, the first step is hearing the forensic word to the first step to becoming a forensic seer a forensic prophet is to hear the forensic word to hear a forensic teacher to adopt the lessons of a forensic mentor the second step is to adopt the mindset that god is greater than google to adopt the mindset that God is greater than Google. This will cause you to begin to desire the spiritual gifts. Let me help somebody. The Bible says desire to prophesy. What's that mean? It means that the forensic realms have to be desired you have to uh, you have to begin to have a passion to enter because desire becomes the vacuum that pulls spiritual things so unless you have a forensic desire unless let me help you unless you have a frustration that there's more you can see in the lord unless you have a frustration that you can know the details of the spirit unless you have a frustration that you can prophesy names numbers right begins with the frustration because it is your spirit beginning to desire that level of gift. You'll never enter into the forensic dimension if you don't adopt a forensic frusta frustration and a forensic desire. One of the signs that God is calling you into the forensic dimension to prophesy, whether that be over your house, your ministry, your church, your region, your nation, one of the first signs is that you begin to have a forensic frustration you begin to be frustrated because you didn't see, you couldn't see, or you can't see. Amen. Now the third, third step, the third step that I want to give you today, this is not an exclusive step, but this is just out of the inspiration of this lesson. The third step to entering into the forensic dimension for my forensic seers is to train your spirit you have to be the one that initiates this dimension listen god is not going to give it to you on this level again he wants you to desire it and then you are the one that begins to train your spirit and you are the one that gives god the tools to speak to you on another level you're the one that gives God the tools to speak to you on another level. Amen. I want you to understand, operating in anything spiritually requires a language. Most of what limits the Western culture, church, even especially here in America, to operate on a forensic level. Listen, the likes of what we 
the likes of what we first seen in forensic prophecy was a William Branham, even some of the other men of God around that era, and that's it. Now we see God sending African prophets to America to teach us how to prophesy because we've been stuck in yesterday's prophetic move. Ah, I hope somebody's hearing me today. So the limitation between and the gap between us actually transitioning into today's move of the prophetic spirit for prophets and seers and that forensic seer is language. We don't have the language of forensic prophecy. And even the uh, 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 software of the church does not have the ability to decode the language of forensic prophecy. So then God has to give us new software. And that's okay. It doesn't mean yesterday's software was wrong. It means that today it's time for an upgrade. <laughs> it's time to go from prophecy 1.0 to prophecy 2.0. And I want to help you do that. So listen, like, subscribe, join me on this journey of the forensic seer. We're going to dive into codes. We're going to dive into different languages. We're going to dive into creative codes, forensic codes. And listen, if you want to go even deeper, join my school of the prophets. We've been doing this for 10 years. I'm just now stepping out to begin to teach some prophets publicly. But if you want to go even deeper, join my school of the prophets. The link will be in the, uh, in the, in the uh, description below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless.